Well, today, slightly different story. Yeah, I'm going to have my COVID jab. But in the power of YouTube, shall we call it, I've seen something on somebody else's film. I'm not going to let you know what it is yet. I'll take you with me. If you get to see this film, that means it's worked. Anyway, uh, we'll get our COVID jab. And... Um, We'll pop round to somewhere and uh, I've already got one but um, this might be another one and it might be a better one so hmm so it's well worth watching other people's channels because sometimes you look at what they're doing but sometimes you look around them don't you like you look at somebody's workshop they're showing you one thing but something that you're interested in is sitting right next door to it so let's uh let's give this a bash let's get the car out today we're gonna go out in the disease or <laughs> debbie's got the posh car we're going out in the disease or to get me covid jab you don't need to go covid centers or nothing like that now chemist does a lot but and you hear it everywhere else but you sort of take that attitude, well, it's not near me, so it don't bother me. Well, this chemist here, you have to press a button to go in. And on the door it says, due to the high incidence of thievery, you have to press the button, they let you in. I guess one at a time or whatever they decide. Or If you're looking a bit dodgy, they'll only let one of you in at a time. But I tell you what, to see that now on my doorstep, it's concerning, isn't it? It is. It is concerning, and the politicians are so busy doing other unimportant stuff, and the real stuff that really affect the people, and they don't give a damn about it, do they? Hmm. Right then, off on our adventure. But hidden gem. <laughs> There's something I've seen on Cuckoo Clock's film. I haven't even told him about it yet. Anyway, let's go see if we can find it. Uh, this is on the doorstep, this is... I saw it on Robert's film. Is this the one? It's smaller than it seems on the film. Only paid three quid for it. <laughs> right, let's clean that. Let's see if we can find a name. Let's see if we can find a name and, and I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking of. Oh, we've got it home. Is this the one we'd seen on Robert's film? Is this what I was thinking of? I only saw this edge. I saw a level like that with an arched name here. And that's what I saw. And I thought, ooh, that's the one, that's the one. So let's go and see what I thought I was going to get. And and we'll look at the film. Because obviously this is this is only this wide. Of course, you're watching it on a huge, big television, aren't you? So obviously it looks bigger. So anyway, let's see if we've found the right one. First of all, let's clean this up and let's go and find the one that I thought this was. I thought we were looking at, was it this one? It wasn't this one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I thought we'd found another one of these. The name with the curve on it. But obviously, that's quite a bit bigger and longer, isn't it? So let's uh, clean this other one up. It's got the pads. I thought... We'd seen one of these and we've done a film on one of these. And this lot, didn't we say, it goes right back. It's got a right old age and we sort of repaired this one a bit, didn't we? Except um, I used creosote to um, not bring it back to life. Remember, it was really, really dry, wasn't it? Really dry. The, it's lovely now. And we um, took the bulb out, and the, the bubble and did it anyway come on let's see let's see if we've um let's clean this other one up we may have well, we may have got a smaller one of this one another version eh so come on let's clean the other one up we've got a small amount of auto solve we're just going to give this a bit of a, a bit of a white we just want to know we just at this point we just want to know the name, see what we see. Yeah, this uh, this stuff is is pretty good stuff. It's going to do what we want it to do. We need to find a name, 
And have we got anything here? I thought I'd seen some up there. Maybe not. Anyway, that's going to be, for now, good enough to see what we're looking at. I think, you know, have we brought the wrong one home? I'm convinced we'd seen one of them other ones. Anyway, let's, uh, meanwhile, let's go, and, let's go and find the film. There we are, look. That's this one that we've just bought. British made. No other name on it. Hmm. And we've got them tiny little screws, haven't we? We've got them in brass. Hmm. Anyway, let's do the next step. Obviously, there's a little difference in scale. <laughs> I thought we'd seen one of these, but actually, we'd seen this. It's okay, this is cheaper. Uh, three quid. Look at that. Woohoo! So, let's take the both of these and let's try and spot on the film because, of course, we're watching it on a big television, aren't we? So, the scale is very difficult to judge. So, it's a, I've got it around about where we want it to be. So, let's run it forward a bit. We're, obviously, we're watching. The Antique Centre in Warsaw, a hidden gem, cuckoo clock, 65. So let's see what I'd seen and have we picked the right one up? It wasn't far off, it's around these tools here somewhere. Yeah, get ready with the pause button. <gasps> That's what we'd seen. Oh, it is, no, there's another one. Look, that there. And that there it still isn't the one we picked up is it is it it's not there there's no there's no writing at all on this one look and the one we're looking for it says what's it say on it <coughs> is it worth going back to find Warranted correct. And what's the name? British made. Hmm. That's definitely inside a cabinet somewhere. That's not that one. It's very similar, but it's not that one. That says British made. British made. That looks okay. This looks okay back a bit this looks okay but this is definitely that's definitely got something warranted correct on it isn't it and this hasn't so i think we found the wrong one similar similar size yeah so let's see what i thought i'd seen uh, come back a bit hold on Let's come out the zoom a bit. I thought I'd seen this one. With the writing there, look. Warranted correct. But E. Preston and Son on this side. And we've already done a film on this, haven't we? So I thought I'd seen this one. And the actual one we were looking at was that one. And we've been there and we've picked up a different one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Reggie's world. Well, you know, the ends are the same, aren't they? The ends are the same. The one screw there, one screw there. This was the same. End was the same, one screw there, one screw there. So up to there, and there was a name there, and there was a name here. We just haven't quite hit the mark, have we? That warranted correct is warranted correct there. So that's in the right place. I wonder if that is maybe just a slightly smaller one than one of these. And we spent three quid, no big deal. Let's go see. Let's go. 
I'm not happy. We've got to go and find that one, haven't we? And it's definitely inside a glass case somewhere. Hold on a minute, let's play the film. I was trying to play this on the... How big is that? So it's, it's around by the tool somewhere. Let's go take another look. This time we're going to take a picture with us. Yeah, let's zoom in and take this picture and go and get it. So, ding, ding, round two. <laughs> ding, ding, round two. Let's go see if we can find it. Ding, ding, round two. We're back at Hidden Gem. Wow, let's go find this level. I've got to find it. I've got to find it. I do that all the time. I don't press record. <laughs> we found the key in the background and we found the cabinet. But we haven't found the level. Hmm. Let's go and take a little wandering. We'll stick to tools. But there's all sorts, whoops, all sorts in here. And you don't bump into anything. If you if you broke it, you bought it. It's gotta be on here somewhere. It's gotta be around here. Measuring tools here, look. Nice letters. Of a bit stamp letters. That's where he was, see. Now where's the milk bottles? He moves from here and the last thing we saw was milk bottles now. Where are they? We're looking in your ears. Ah, I remember looking at the badges and the tools. Right, so was he round here possibly? I haven't seen. The milk bottles yet. I was going to surprise him, but oh, here's the milk bottles. Ah, so there are the milk bottles. Look, so he's around here somewhere.
Mm. <laughs> Hi, everything. It's the space you need, isn't it? We've just found another level. So we'll have that, put that in the kitty. <laughs> Records. More this way. Oh, I haven't been this way. Can I go more this way? Let's have a look up here. Oh, more this way. Oh, more this way. Oh, I've not been here before. More this way. Look. You're all there. What to do with all your paperwork? Make a nice, interesting, plaster it all on the wall. Look at these papers, adverts. <laughs> That's one way of plastering your man cave. More this way. Oh, it's a bit dark. Bogeyman in there. Oh, this is clothes. Oh, oh this takes us round and above look <coughs> watch your steps Ooh. Oh, toys and so to like matchbox toys in the boxes wow if you're a collector and you want to want to finish your collection you might be just what you're looking for in here you should never know it here you just from newer models to older models. Books, magazines, got an attic full of them. Old televisions. Webbing. Oh, Tonka Toys. Lovely. I don't know where to look. Yeah. There was a wolf's head there. Oh, look, Rob, did you miss that? Little bird here, look. Some more taxidermy there. What's that? What's that called? Decoupage. Decoupage. Wood cars. Lovely. Is that a grease gun or no? That's an eyepiece, isn't it? What is that? Trench heart, is it? No. Little, um, rounds there. More little cars. That's got to be private. Yeah. Oh, bayonets, machetes, GP LMG or GPMG, I can't remember, 7.62, is it, is that an LMG or a GPMG, is that a GMP or an LMG, hmm, you'll tell me that won't you, rounds here. Obviously, uh, yeah, one took the firing pin out job. Hmm. Dear me. 
Star Wars stuff. Incredible. The stuff you can find when you go mooching and looking and searching and grinding wheel. I forgot to make on that. It's in a cupboard yet to be sorted. Sewing machines. I can't record. I wish I could record my conversation with him. Let's go see if Robert bought that, that level for me. So I bought this one whilst I was there. It's another one I'll clean up nicely. Where have we seen that name before? Sheffield. Anyway, come on. I wish I could record my conversation with with Robert. I'm guessing, I'm guessing he's bought it for me. I'm guessing. Because the bloke did say he did buy a level. So let's go and ring him. Hey, look, that's cheating. They didn't make him go down the alleyway, did they? <laughs> that's cheating, that is. Hold on, Pete. Hold on, Pete. I'm coming in, right? Yeah. Is that rap scallion? of your brother of yours yeah. been uh, been uh, been what, been, what, been uh, buying stuff that i would buy i'm just yes she has read let's switch it off now uh -huh. the, we've hunted it down uh i'm going to show you robert's film robert cleaned it and bought it and cleaned it british made which is what we were looking for uh warranted correct it's got the crack. We should be able to identify or maybe find that crack on the film. Or maybe the cleaning showed it up. Yeah, it probably did, Rich. But uh, look at that. Along with another one. We've got another one we've done. This is a Rabone. Rabone and Son. Oh, sure. Yeah. What are they called? A bow one. The, bow one. They, okay. uh, yeah, boat level. Yeah. I'm not really sure what they call. Would they cut now? It's because it's not a shape of a boat. And look at this. <gasps> look at I'm gonna well I'll make a separate film on this one for you. Oh dear. Roger. But tell me, tell me, why do you think this is something we don't find very often at all? Hmm. Yeah, it is up pretty see there the clocks. Yeah, clocks. Clocks. But, but if you look Clark's up ready, we'll have a look at that, we'll have a look at it. It'd be nice, like really, to, to study that, wouldn't it? Here it is, look. Here it is. Wow. Warranted correct. British made. Yeah, now Robert had picked this up. <laughs> I should have rang him sooner. I rang him up and said, Robert, you scallywag. What did you do with that level that you took a picture of? Well, took it home for you, Reggie, yeah. So Robert's had this, he took it home, this is a Rabone. Yeah, wow. And whilst, when I went back, I've picked up this one. So well, let's have a look at this one when we get it back. There is, yeah, you need the phone to have a look at him. Look, let's turn this round. Warranted, correct, patent, and this one's a w morris and son sheffield wow so that might have a good um yeah warranted correct made in england that one birmingham look wow now there is you see made in england and british made so this one because it's got british made I'd say this one's older because that's what they used to say British made then and then they sort of changed it to made in England on Great Britain so just the fact that this says or doesn't say made in England and British made I'd say this one's got a bit more age on it yeah and what colour is the bubble a clear bubble in there yeah what's that one is that a clear no that's a green bubble you see yeah it's a green bubble and this one is a hmm, somewhere in between bubble no this is a green bubble the same look 
She green. Hmm. And um, what did I pay for this one? A fiver. What did we say? Yeah. Marbles and Sun, Sheffield. A fiver. Ooh, lovely. Last we were there, look. <laughs> ooh, ooh, look at this beauty. Wow. It's a 36 inch. But can you see? I can't explain to you how. This is little pinky light, little pinky light. I reckon, I reckon, I don't know if the top would be made of lighter material. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, but this is an aluminium or a similar thing. Um, this, I get, the only thing I can guess is this must be an aeroplane one. You know, you take your toolkit with you when you go on the aeroplanes, don't you? Reckon possibly this is an REF. Would there be a broad arrow on it somewhere? Do you think? It's sort of REF colour, isn't it? Or is it? A, I don't know. I don't say it's an anti-spark one, but I don't know if it makes sparks. But look, this is an aluminium one. Really, really um, difficult to find. Wow. Yeah. So we've had a really really successful day today remember, you remember the other day we went off and we did a rescue mission didn't we a rescue that wasn't a rescue <laughs> yeah well we had another rabone now with a fantastic box now the question is is this the original box it's got a like a, a edge there and it's got part of an edge that's been cut there. So is this a box for something else? And it's been adapted. So is this a box for something else which has been adapted? Or is this the actual original box? Let's put that in properly. I did that before, but it's stuck. Hold on. Put it in the groove there. In the middle as a groove just made for it and a groove here just made for it to sit in there so is that a sign is that an altered box or is that how they originally came is this an original box for this level look you can see how it's been but it's i'd say this could possibly be an original box for it. Yeah. Is that the original box? There's no reason not to believe. Is that how they came? I guess they would because this... Um, let's, let's, let's have a closer look at this groove. This groove in the back here has been made when the box has been made, do you think? Hmm. Part of this back piece, isn't it? And then here. Where are we? Where are we with there? Did the piece come off there? But that looks like it's been made. Remember, there's a slide piece missing. There's a groove across the top there. And yeah, it's very similar to this one. It's very similar to that one, but it isn't because it's um, smaller, different size. So this, is this the original, the absolutely original box? Or is it an adapted box? I guess if you want to stop it getting knocked about and keep it off the edge, I suspect this is the original box made for shall we say this size level or this actual level tops missing but we can get that made can't we look at this box here wow does that give you a clue is that actually wood yeah it's at this level at this the bottom here is actual a a thin strip of wood, it's not, um, don't think it's plywood. 
Is that homemade? Or is that factory made? Or is that the box for it? And something I don't see often enough is look, this has still got remnants of the label on it. Wow. You don't see many with the remnants of a label. Give you a clue what the, the original label looked like. Hmm. So that's a little gem. It's all the little little things that matter little so you wouldn't you wouldn't of all the things you want to save is you want to save that there because you don't see that often at all hmm let's um let's give that a bit of a clean this <laughs> look at this it's a bit like being csi isn't it investigating look at that there's the crack can you see it look this is the picture we took from the video of Robert, Cuckoo Clock 65. And uh, he's made a film of cleaning this up with, uh, with me in mind. Um, and this, we thought we were, we thought we were going to go and get another one of those. And we picked up one of these and it wasn't the one because it didn't have the name either side, did it? So we suspected who had this and we hunted it down. And this is the same one cleaned up. And the crack tells you there's one there. There's a slight crack there, possibly. So look, there's the crack here. There's the crack there. Wow. <laughs> oh, do you think I would be a good investigator? Where's that? Yeah, you see here. See slight mark, slight crack there. You can just about see it. It's there, look. That's the one. This is the one that we went hunting down and we found it. Yeah. Robert, you rapscallion. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my little my little men. Oh Reggie likes labels. I'll buy this and sell it to Reggie for ten times the price. <laughs> no <laughs> and the second time around we went to get this one so let's give this a quick clean up in the garage now now we're not going to use anything too it's quite a soft sort of um wheel on this it doesn't take seconds only to clean them up Comes up lovely, doesn't it? Let's get the work of it off. I'm hardly putting any pressure on it at all, as you can see. Just a light pressure on it. Yes, enough. Uh, show is you get the main, the most of it off. We can now do that with a paste can. But that's brought up the name. Nice and bright. Yeah. Cut the most of it off. Let's um, put a bit of auto solve on it now, bring it up. Be a bit more aggressive with it. I've got one of these little sanding pads, these 600 sanding pads. Oh, it's so easy to lose the name. So, so easy to lose the name. So, but it's a lot smoother. Rough, rough, and all that roughness is gone. A little bit at the end. It doesn't matter on the end here because we're not trying to save a name, are we? When you're up and around the name is when it matters. Yeah. But, um, it will come. It will come. But it is quite uh, here. It is there. But you just don't want to get. You don't want to mess around the name, do you? I don't want to lose the name, it is there. Oh, it's quite deep. Hmm. Got to be very careful around here now then. Not to sand it too much because you just simply wipe out the name. Hmm. So, W. Marples and Son, Sheffield. And it's got the pattern number on it, look. 
One's incorrect. The patent is four. What is it? We come out of it. Four three, four two three, eight nine six. Hmm. So, is this older than we think? Hmm. What would be the age on that? Do you think? Hmm. I wonder. So well, let's have a recap of the story. This is the one we saw on Robert's film. And we thought that one was this one. But it wasn't. So I went hunting it down, didn't I? And I brought this one home with me. This one home was with me. Yeah. And it wasn't quite. No. Wrong way down. Start again. Let's start again. <laughs> this is the one we'd seen on Robert's film. Yeah. And I thought we were looking at another one of these. Yeah. So I went to the um, antique centre, didn't I? And I bought this one. Yeah. I bought this one and we brought it home. We checked it on the television and it wasn't quite wasn't quite the right one because it didn't have a name there did it so whilst we were there we bought this one didn't we yeah the marples one yeah uh, we bought this one and then we did actually hunt this down robert had it he'd also and he'd made a film he'd also polished up this one there as well that was to go with it um, and then this level came this level in the box this one came from the rescue mission we did from um, from Ed when he had a breakdown when he had a when we went to get his car and we didn't need the jump leads in the end wow we've had a fantastic level collecting day haven't we how's your day been going my uh, my day has been going on the straight and narrow and dead level. Yeah. <laughs> it is Robert's film of when he finds them first. Okay, from the side. Before he cleans them. So, you can see from the side there. I'm clean all the brass up. All nice and shiny. Screws out, clean the screws. Wax it all and see what it looks like. So I'll show you individual ones and then you can have a good look at each one before I restore it. So that's the first one, yeah. footprint. Let's go past the footprint for a moment. Yeah, about there. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like. There we are. Oh, <laughs> oh, hold on, front door. Where are we? Give a name there. Say, three ridges educating me. Nice, that's nice. You can see all the markings on that cleared us. Clear on that marking, this on that one. So again, I'll wax it all up. Well, I've been called many, many been names, nice but I've there. never been called an educator before. Nice to <laughs> <laughs> I'm to up there, look. I'll probably just lay that. This point, you know, a lot of just, just give it a bit clean over and see what it looks So I'll take it apart. I'll show you to, So I'll start with this one first. Right, so I've cleaned the brass at the moment. So I'll just, if you can see that, look, I've cleaned all the brass on that. Lovely job of cleaning the brass, Rob. Yeah, look, all the brass is clean. Brass, well, you can't, can't really beat brass, up, can you? Yeah, to wax the wood. Just give it a quick care. So I'm going to wax the wood, so I'll show you when it's all finished, so I'll wax the wood now. Right, so I'll wax it all now. So I'll give you a quick look at it. It's looking nice and shiny now. 
Try and hold it. So you probably, I don't even can see that on the camera. It's nice and shiny. Wax tall now, it looks nice and nice at the bottom. I've added value to it or not. Well, you have in my case, Rob. <laughs> Which I ain't got a problem at all with. I haven't got a problem at all with it. It's only a small camera. So I'll show you the. Uh, so that's one. So I'll show you the next one. This is the I'll one we were chasing down. So have a look. So I'll clean all that up now. Yeah, cool, clean yeah. it all up. So it looks a bit. Sorry. It looks a bit. Uh, there's a little bit of. Wax on it, so I clean it all up. And so it looks like when I clean it, I'll clean it, with clean it, and I'll show you what it looks like when I clean it. I'm going to put the bulb out because you, when the bulb's in that same level, so I'm going to rain to the bulb. The bulb looks like it's quite bent, so I'll try to get it out level. So I'll have a box. Yeah, it's bent for that it's reason, it's bent so it. Well, what it was the level. bubble itself. Let's see, the bubble all level. Bubble right to the one side. I'm going to take it out and read, read what's name. So I've got the bubble level now, so the bubble's level. Put it back in. I'll show you the brass now. Now it's brass or copper. I'll show you what I've done with the thing now. Because I've used the brass now, you didn't, didn't clean it up, but I've got a, a secret weapon I'll show you. Oh, this is a secret weapon, look, tomato sauce, you can see that was black, put the brass out on, still was black. That's been a tomato sauce for about 10 or 15 minutes. Look at the bulb, so the, uh, so I'll show you when I've completely cleaned it. So I'll give it 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll do it. I'll put the tomato sauce on it now, look. The vinegar in it? Yeah, Make a sponge out of the way. See the tomato sauce. Oh. So I'll show you a clean sauce. Well, the clean sauce up there, so you see it's all clean. Oh, so I've cleaned it now, look. Just show you a quick, just give me a quick demonstration. Clean it all up now. It's nice and shiny, look. Looking grey, Rob. Oh, it's waxed. Looks nice for it all the bulbs, so the, uh, near the centre they can get it. So, clean that one. That one's all done now, so I'll show you the next one. So this is the... Uh, Next one the footprint. Print. Yeah, let's run it forward slightly. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Does Robert do one of the all three of them? Yeah. Before and after. There, look. There we are. All done. So, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate everybody who watches the video. I'll see you on the next one. Got you, Robert. Got you. <laughs> So go and find Cuckoo Clock 65 and you will find his film of the... Yeah, Hold on, I've got to mess that up now. Yeah, you'll find this film of the antique store shop with me. There we are. Oh no, that's the wrong one. That is the wrong one. The He did on Sunday. Let me go and find the right one. This is the film. Robert, fantastic channel um, of going around the car boots. We go around together when we can. But if you like car boot films, and like I did, I was watching 
sometimes not what Robert was watching, but I was watching what, um, and Robert repaired the gnome. You remember that, don't you? Uh, the gnome hospital. And sometimes you, we all look at, we all see different things, don't we? We all look at the same film, but we all see different things, don't we? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Robert comes highly recommended. Cuckoo Clock 65.